he settled for the best thing he could find as soon as possible. He looked at many houses, but this is the one he took because he wrongly thought it was a bargain. He thought it was cheap and he borrowed money and he bought it. But he very, was very impulsive. Once he saw the house and the atmosphere of it pleased him, he took it right away. So he didn't look around and say, I want to put a house or find a house in an area where I would feel comfortable because there are so many Indians. It just so happened that he ended here. It was a very happy coincidence. For the book appeals to Trinidadians, to West Indian people, and to people all over the world. That means that it operates at several different levels. For me, it has, I, as a native of Trinidad and Tobago, and as a person of Indian origin, I will pick up almost all the levels in the book. Another West Indian person who knows a little bit about Trinidad and who knows a little bit about the Indians of Trinidad and the meeting of races at Trinidad will pick up several levels also. And by pick up, I mean pick it up without having to think. Identify with. Yes. An overseas person, a person in England or America who knows something about us will pick up some of the levels too. But at that level, I mean, when I read a great Russian novel, I know nothing about what the Russian streets felt like. I don't even know the shape of Russian trees. I can't imagine the houses in which the characters are, unless the writer describes them, and even so, I don't have the feel for all of that. The writer could be the greatest writer in the world. I, a non-native, cannot have the same feel for the place as a native. When a West Indian writer says, the smell of hog plum was in his nose as he went up the hill, the writer only has to say that. He doesn't have a footnote to say, a hog plum is a kind of plum which blah, 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 and it gives off blah, blah, blah. And when it falls to the ground and its rot is even stronger. You don't have to say that. I reading, the scent of the hog plums was in his nostrils. I feel that right away. And I see the hog plum, and I see the hog plum tree, and I see the kind of grass on which the hog plum tree is growing. So a native really takes in a lot more from a novel than a non-native. But the wonderful thing about A House for Mr. Biswas is that everybody recognizes that this is the eternal and universal struggle of a human being wishing to preserve his individuality, to have an identity, to belong to something, to have something belong to him, and to take on the totalitarian forces in the world that want to destroy you and suppress you. Everybody picks up that level of the book.